what was your main aim for this run? Our objective of a few months ago when we started putting all of this together was to develop a non new nonprofit organization to raise awareness and uh, for prostate cancer research treatment. Um, we were very impressed with everybody involved with breast cancer and all of the gains that they've made with that foundation and we thought uh, prostate cancer is not uh, in the public eye enough. So we decided to uh, develop a nonprofit organization with two main events this year. One was the Night on the Townsend, which was a big charity event we had Friday to kick off this race. And this race as well, which had over 1,400 registered um, runners and walkers, as well as probably um, additional 2,000 uh, additional family members. So we raised uh, a significant amount of money to be determined next week. Um, and all of that will go to uh, prostate cancer research centers and hospitals in southeastern Michigan. This is Rhonda Tobin, very instrumental, one of our uh, volunteers and also works with me at Michigan Institute of Urology. And Rhonda was our only team member um, at uh, our organization who is a runner herself. So was very instrumental in the race itself as she has all the experience with the process, the flow, running, etc. And I also lost my father of prostate cancer, so it's a very heartfelt cause for me as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we're the Sky Man. Thanks for having us. And congratulations on a fabulous event. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Congratulations to all of you for uh, being in the first annual Michigan Institute of Urology Run for the Ribbon. I think you all ought to give yourselves a great hand. It's a pretty amazing event because uh, this was just an idea only about six months ago, and here we are celebrating our first annual event. Uh, just to let you know, uh, there's a couple people we need to thank about this event, and uh, the first one is obviously our race director, and that's Ed Kozloff from the Motor City Striders. There's no question if we didn't have Ed here today, we would have uh, definitely had a struggle, and he really pulled through, helped create the course, market, show us how to marshal it, and get us all registered and make it quite a successful event for the Michigan Institute of Urology, and we've really done something good today. The next group of people are our purveyors and our suppliers who have brought us all the food and drinks so that uh, we can survive this beautiful hot weather day. And, uh, They've really done come through, so I just hope you get a chance to meet some of our suppliers uh, and some of the pharmaceutical representatives uh, who are taking good care of us today. And of course, uh, we don't want to forget our uh, MIU Run for the Ribbon Committee. These are a group of people that uh, assembled about six months ago and met on a weekly basis, worked their tails off to try and make this the most perfect event that a first time event could ever be. And I think they pulled off a winner today. So I want to give a round of applause to the uh, Run for the Ribbon Committee. This event actually uh, partnered with an organization called the Prostate Cancer Education Council. And we are now one of 11 PACE races being held nationally for prostate cancer. What has made this race special, this is their biggest first time event, and we've definitely pulled it off, and we showed that Detroit can do something big. And we should all be proud of ourselves. <laughs> Laura Nicholas is our Pace Race president, and she's actually here today. And I want her to just say a few words uh, about Pace Race and why it's an important cause. <laughs> Uh, she's also going to introduce Benji Durden, our guest runner, who's a prostate cancer survivor. Uh, and uh, from what I noticed today, nobody beat his 1320 time, so you're all spared from my exam today. So uh, with uh, no further wait, uh, Laura Nicholas. Good afternoon and happy Father's Day, by the way. We just want to thank you all for coming out. It has been a great Great, thank you. Great turnout. Um, as Dr. Lutz mentioned, we have many first time racers that start with the pace race and this is the biggest turnout we have seen for a first time race. So thank you all for coming. Great turnout, beautiful weather. And also, um, just we gotta throw this in, men early detection. 
Dr. Lutz and the Michigan Institute of Urology. Use them. Age 35, start getting checked. And with further ado, I would like to introduce our PACE spokesman, Benji Durden, and his wife, Amy. I want to thank everybody for showing up for this first event. A little closer, is that better? It's really encouraging to see this many people show up for a first-time event like this. I'm normally on the other side of the finish line timing races, so this is a, it's fun for me to get out and run a race every now and then. And as I said, early detection is very important. I, my detection was uh, six years ago. I discovered I had prostate cancer and had the surgery, and I've been fine ever since. But it was scary to find out, but it's better to find out and get fixed than not to find out and die from it. So, and I enjoyed running against the guys out there in my age division, one of them clobbered me. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's, this is a good thing, it's a good cause, and hopefully we'll get a lot more of this going around the country. And now for the moment I think everybody's been waiting for is the award ceremony. So uh, Ed Kozlov's going to come up, announce the names of all the winners. And I just want to say that I think that just running this 5K course is a real winner in and of itself, and supporting prostate cancer and the causes in southeastern Michigan is a huge success. So thank you very much for your participation. We thank you for joining us in this almost near perfect weather. You know, the zoo has been the site of many races, and actually the very first race at the zoo was called Run for the Animals in uh, 1980, and it was held in December with about 1,000 people. So uh, this is one more of those great races to add to the zoo. Uh, for our awards, we have a special award for the first overall finisher in uh, the different age groups. We're going to start with the youngest age group and get our top overall finisher at the end. So we uh, decided to attempt a nine and under this year. So our first nine and under for uh, girls was from Comstock Park, Michigan at age nine, Katherine Klein. <laughs> Katherine, you ran 5K. Run over here and get your award. Uh, do we know what Catherine's time was? She was a little back to get it uh, now. For the guys from Harrison Township at six years old, I hope he wasn't pushed in a carriage, uh, Josiah Gifaldi. in our 10 to 13 year old age group. Now, at age 13, he ran 1751 and was the fifth overall finisher in the race, Stephen Bellhausen. For the girls, 10 to 13, a 10 year old from Huntington Woods. Actually, her house is one block from the course, a time of 24 27, and at age 13, finished 13th overall for women, Claire Kendall. And the 14 to 18 year old age group from Detroit, age 18, a time of 17 14. Our second overall finisher in the race, Tim Harris, the second. For the girls, 14 to 18 from Redford at age 15 with a time of 25-37. She finished 22nd overall in the women's race, Janika King. <laughs> 